Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is message 640. The name of our devotional today is How Lovely Is Your Dwelling Place? I will be reading from Psalm 84. And it reads, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage, as they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on your shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. The Lord God Almighty crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. And we need vast quantities of these blessings as we delight in him and he provides them for us. Our job is to open our hearts fully to him, acknowledging to him how needy of his care we are. Many people are afraid to face their neediness because they doubt that anyone could ever provide or could ever fill their lack. People don't want to appear weak, but in front of God, admitting your great need for him is really strength. But God has infinite reservoirs of blessings for his children. His loving kindness is an eternal gift. For he has loved us with an everlasting love. He is committed fully to us. All of God's children need mercy and compassionate treatment. And he offers multiple mercies. And he does it so tenderly. So let us come to him when we are feeling weak and vulnerable, when we are scared, when we are anxious. Let us pour out our heart to him and we can rest in his presence. Remember, God's children are redeemed royalty, purchased with his own blood. As we hold still with dignity and confidence, while he crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Jeremiah 31, three says, the Lord has appeared of old to me saying, yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Psalm 62 verse eight says, trust in him at all times, O people, pour out your hearts to him for God is our refuge. Psalm 103 verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all of our iniquities, who heals all of our diseases, who redeems our life from destruction, who crowns us with loving kindness, and tender mercies.
My Lord God, thank you so much, my Lord God, for the word of God, for your holy word, my God. My Father, it produces hope, my God, for without hope we cannot survive. Without hope, my Father, our spirit would die. We would perish, God. Thank you so much, my Lord God, that you are the hope of the world. You are the hope of our soul, my God. My Lord God, you are the light, my God, that shines the way in the darkness, my God. You are, my Father, that light that we need, my Father, in this world. My Lord God, we just thank you and bless you. Thank you so much for listening to the sound of our voice, for listening to the cry of our spirit, for listening to the acclamation, my God, as we claim, as we, Father God, claim the word of God for us, as we, Father God, come to you in prayer, my Father, as we are seeking, my Father, the peace that surpasses all understanding in the middle of the storm. We praise you and we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty, precious name. My friend, I encourage you to play in the light, play in the sunshine, dance in the rain. Remember that God loves you so very, very much. Be safe, be still, and know that the Lord is with us, that he is God. Be still and know. Lord God in heaven, I pray that you will bless each person that is in the path of the storm, my Father, in the path of the hurricane, God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, my God, to send a mantle of peace over each and every heart, my God. My Lord God, in Jesus' name we pray. My friend, remember to remember that God loves you so very, very much. Until we meet again, God bless you. Stay safe. My friend, Everything has a season under the sun. There is a moment, there is a time for everything in life. And your time is now. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Don't wait to be skinny, to be rich. Don't wait for things to be perfect, for have, to have less work or to have more work or for things to be in a different state. Don't wait one more minute to say this prayer and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Father God, Thank you so much for this prayer that I am going to say. Thank you for your life. Thank you for your death and resurrection. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that you are the Son of God, that you are the Messiah, that you are the Savior of the world. And I ask you forgiveness for all of my sins. Thank you for being from this day forward, my Lord and Savior. I receive you in my heart, voluntarily, from my heart. Please forgive me for all the things that I have done, all the things that I have said, and all the times that I have walked away from you, thinking and saying that I don't need you when in fact I need you desperately, Jesus. I cannot do this life without you. And today I am saying this prayer so that my life can be reconciled to you. So that from this day forward, you and I become friends. You and I become father and daughter. 
you and I become that union that cannot be broken by anything or anyone. Lord God, I receive you and I thank you for your blood. I promise that from this day forward, I will get to know you, I will follow you. From this day forward, Lord, I will seek you every day. Help me to understand the Bible. Help me to understand everything that I need to know. Help me to have eyes to see and ears to hear. Bless my eyes, Lord. Bless my ears. Bless my mouth, Lord. So that I can represent you well, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for receiving me in the kingdom of God. Thank you, God, that through Jesus Christ today, I am your daughter. In Jesus' mighty, precious name, I thank you. Amen. My friend, if you've said this prayer today from your heart, be assured that there is a party in heaven for the Bible says that there is a celebration in heaven for every sinner that repents. You have taken a step towards a better life, a step towards peace, towards a better future. You have changed the legacy of your whole family from this one decision that you have made today. So I congratulate you. Many blessings to you and your family.